I'm here in Shimukitazawa right now, waiting for Drew to come. It is like 1 p.m. right now, like 12.30. And I'm sitting with a bunch of stuff here since today is one of the shooting days. Nigo is coming later and both will take action in the trailer campaign we are working on. So like basically I'm doing a trailer for the bomber jacket that I got like right here in a jazz club. Since it says jazz night on the back, since it was kind of like the theme for the past collection for the most recent collection so we are going to a live jazz bar or like any jazz bar that gives us some good vibes man and the video shows it so we're going there filming a quick campaign and then probably getting some drinks later and meeting up with the whole group so that's the plan for today so I'm waiting for Drew I came like 30 minutes early so waiting a bit probably like 10 minutes and then we finally check some stores cafes so let's get it going by the way one of my favorite areas bro so good vibes so yeah that one's fire It looks good from the side. That one's good, bro. Yeah. yeah. It's recording already. Oh, okay. I mean, if, if it's like 30, 30 bucks, I might get it. It's pretty good. What size is that one? Oh. Every week I go on like raid and shit. Yeah. In German great. Check out Russ Athletic. <laughs> and they sell this shit for like 100. 100. It's insane. Small. Extra large. Medium. You were right, good store. Uh, this Osaka one was kind of like was pricey mid. as hell. Oh, yeah. pricey? And the Wigo one, they had a pop up in Paco last year. Mm -hmm. It's probably the best finish store I've been to. They had like teas, crazy teas. This one too. Was it like, like last year? Yeah. For like 3k. It's a different zipper, yeah. Different fit too, I guess. Oh, I might get the one. Get this one. This one? Yeah. I like to put on this one. Like, different zipper too. Got the tag right here. Like, fit like. Shape like easy gap. Mm. I think I get this one. It's not like 8K or something. That one fit very nice. You probably gonna get the red one. This one right here, bro. Can't go wrong with red, bro. Nice watch, too. My first one, actually. Yeah. Me, too, bro. First, first extra zipper. Might even get this one, bro. Some Jesse Kingman type shit. <laughs> I could see this, but some antique store. Yo, I can see all the way down there. Damn. <laughs> oh, that area kind of fire. Like a park right here. Might take some pics. Right there. So that's the place where he called this bar. That's the new card holder.
No, no, no. We're just sipping. We're just, we're just, we're just cheers and kampai. Cheers and kampai. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Hey man, we out here in Tokyo having a good time with my boys. Shut up, dude, Jonah. Shut up, dude, Jonah. That color is kind of cool. It's probably like extra large to be. Yeah, 2XL. But for like 3K, you can go wrong. That's by the way one of our new bags I worked on. So it's like canvas bag. Like the one we released in the first capsule. So it features our new piece, embroidery, and uh, new worker line, new label, inside pocket, it's got my camera right here, and it's basically the bag. I think it's quite nice for the next delivery, so good for summer. Yeah, I really like the vibe here, gotta check around, there's probably like 80 more vendors, so let's give it a go. So they also have a food court right here, kind of hungry. Uh, actually might try kebab, Japanese style. Uh, I'll get some rice bowl. They also have a coffee roaster truck right there, so might check that one out too. Haven't found anything yet though. Uh, eyeing some pins or patches. Also a Russell hoodie, but uh, nothing spectacular. So got like some food right here, but a pretty cool experience. Like good sunlight, nice location. So definitely check it out. And I feel like if you come very early, we came at like 12. If you come like at 9 a.m., 9 a.m., there's pretty good stuff. Because the selection wasn't that bad. What's good y'all, we are back in Tokyo to be exact in Chiyoda Gym Ocho I guess and this area is pretty known for like bookstores and I'm looking for some vintage magazines to put on my um, coffee table so we found a good store right here that sells like hundreds of good magazines including Popeyes and shit so let's give it a go and go in man like honestly thing, it's like too many here like this is all Popeyes. I just want to grab like one or two to pimp up like my coffee table because the thing looks way nice. I would like nice magazines. I might get this vintage one. Pretty sick. Um. Oh, I'm checking more, man. Not quite sure. It's like so many. I also got the new ones right here. So. That one. A white guy it looks cool too. Super vibrant. Maybe. So I just got back from Shioda and I picked up four amazing pop art magazines. Uh, 
for like a super reasonable price I think for all for like 30 euro and we got that one it's like architecture this one was the cheapest for like six euro then we got that one I got this because of the cover I think it will look very nice on the coffee table from 82 features uh, cars basketball stuff fashion and shit guitars I guess I uh, just got this because of the cover uh, from 1977 and the reason why I got these is because I really like looking into archives getting inspiration from like super old stuff like 80s to 90s to 2000s I think it's very nice to get like inspiration for shapes prints graphics and overall like how it got put together so I picked up these four and now we're here in uh, Aza Dubai Hills, waiting for our reservation or like entrance at the new Team Lab Museum. Since we've been at Team Lab planning the last time and it was crazy experience. Now we're going to the more like a museum, I guess, for like art in the new um, mall. Just killing some time right now, finishing this coffee. <coughs> Might even open one Popeye magazine. I think I'll just. Uh, Keep them sealed until I'm home. Super stoked for Team Lab. We are now walking to the spot, it's right there, the island in Oshima. So you're, are you ready for the shoot? Yeah man, ready for the shoot. I think that's where we're going, right there, a little, little place over there. It's beautiful down here, man. I've never been down here. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. So we're going to the rock beach right now. Right there. Should arrive any minute. So we just arrived at the spot. We found our way here. It was kind of hard. It's like a rock beach, and that's actually the look I was aiming for. We have Ashley, Drew, uh, changing his clothes. Uh, Sarah and Chris. Yeah, we're taking some pics now, probably like three fits for the lookbook. And since uh, spring summer is approaching, I was looking for like a summerish vibe, vibe so going to the beach. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. Chris first on the spot. He's the leader today. I'm the leader today. <laughs> Welcome, Anoshima. Probably right here somewhere, looking for a spot. Uh, definitely want some rocks. Got the camera with me. Chris is guiding us today. So maybe like right there. This bear looks cinematic. What's up? This bear looks cinematic. <laughs> Got a little fade on. You good? 
<laughs> Try not to bust my ass. my cameras. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we saw we through. So are we standing there? Everyone right here. I mean we can take unlimited shots. So it's yeah. unlimited here. Nah, I mean like, so like so when the wind blows, it just, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that that's what I'm trying to kind of. Um, Bro, it's wet. <laughs> my socks are wet, my boots are wet. Yeah. Low key, I feel like I'm about to get some blisters, <laughs> but got some good shots. It's a beautiful day, bro. Yeah. Feels good out here. Yeah. You get a little shot for me. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit.